Hey guys, it's been a little bit since I've done one of these individual reviews, but today I wanted to review Little Book Chapter 3, The Road Home. So for those of you that don't know, Little Book is the annual release from Freddy No, who is actually the son of the current master distiller, Fred No. So there's been two other releases, one in 2017, one in 2018, and they're all vastly, vastly different. But this year's release is called The Road Home, and it's the one that I am actually the most excited about. So if you don't know, um, this little tag comes on to give you a little info about what it is. But basically, The Road Home is a combination of... Nine-year-old Basil Haydens, nine-year-old Knob Creek, 11-year-old Bookers, and 12-year-old Bakers. So that's right. This is a combination of Jim Beam's small batch collection. And they are all um, bottled at cast strength. They are blended together. I'm really excited about this one. Um, its actual MSRP is about $125. For some reason, not sure why, my store had it on sale for $80. So... You know I grabbed that up, and I actually have already tried a little bit of it. Um, my first impressions, I wanted to give it a little bit more time to, I guess, open up. So let's go ahead and pour our glass of Little Book Chapter 3. Now, the proof on this one is 61.3% alcohol, so 122.6 proof. I honestly thought it would be a little bit darker using those cast strength um, reserve barrels, especially those 11 and 12-year-old barrels. But... What it lacks on the color, it shines on the nose. This is so leathery, so oaky. I love, I mean, you guys know this. My favorite thing I love about Knob Creek is the over oakiness of Knob Creek, especially some of those older um, single barrels. It has that, but it has a little bit more, I would almost say like a leather note. Like it's um, cowboy. Like if, if, I, if I want to imagine what a cowboy smelled like after he bathed and put on all of his outfit... This is what it would be. So definitely got that leather um, tobacco note on the nose. This just smells like a quintessential bourbon. This is all the things on the nose that I look for in a bourbon. So I really do hope it holds up in the taste. So let's go ahead and give it a taste. Very, very similar to the nose and very, very good. I mean, I've had the little book too, um, pretty recently. That one had a lot of rye in it, and it just, it was good, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't that Booker's um, Knob Creek, you know, powerhouse. This one, on the other hand, this takes some of that lighter, some of that fruitier notes that you get on some of these other releases, and combines it with the super oaky, deep, dark, rich flavors of a Booker's, of a Baker's, of a Knob Creek. So I think this is probably one of the best Jim Beam products I have tasted other than Booker's Rye because that was a completely different product which was incredible but other than Booker's Rye this is probably the most aligned with my palette Jim Beam product I've ever had. If you're someone that really does love Booker's and loves those older Knob Creek store picks you will not be disappointed in this. This is a fantastic bourbon. It's a fantastic you know combination of all the things that go into it so I commend you, Freddie No, and I'm really excited to see more of what he does for the company because this is such a delicious bourbon and definitely gets my recommendation. If you see on the shelves for reasonable price, pick it up. I know $125 is a little much, especially for me. Like, I'm one of those guys where $80 is like my normal limit. Like, I rarely go above $80, which is why I got lucky on this one. But this is one of the few that I would not regret paying $125 for this. This is a not an everyday sipper, obviously. It's a special occasion bourbon, but gets my recommendation fully. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you've had this, if you've had any of the other little books, um, what was your favorite? Let me know. So until next time, I'll see you guys on my next live stream. I go live on Thursdays. So I'll see you guys next week. Until then, I'm here to help you drink good whiskey and little book three, very, very good whiskey. Cheers. I guess I can't cheers you to the bottle. Here, wait, wait. Cheers.